Hey everybody, Mr. Movies 7 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World. Let's head on through the Donut Ghost House, because it's spooky, and it's also in our direct path, so we kinda, you know, have to. That door just farted. That was, that was rude. Alrighty, so, a couple things here real quick I want to mention. Uh, big thanks to GT for telling me on last episode, on the last episode there, that I never knew before, apparently when the, um, each level's dot, is it, if it's yellow, there's no split path or extra levels to it, or extra exits for it, but when it's red, there are extra exits to it. I never knew that back in the day, so I'm glad, why is there, oh, there's no output because the game's paused, I, I knew that. I was gonna say, like, why is, it, why is there no audio output for this, but, oh, yeah, it's paused, oh. Don't get lost! Well, I'll sure as hell try not to, but no promises. I am terrible with directions, but you guys, you guys already know that. Yeah, that, that's something I get from my mom. She's been... Uh, can I... Can I go up? There we go. Yeah, when you see a door like that, just press up and you'll walk right into it. Luckily, this ghost house is not very big. What you want to do here... Well, I got it wrong here, but you... Well, the key is, is to hit that button there. It'll hit the, uh, the block there. And it'll turn into, a, um, hopefully, a um, one of those vines you can climb up so that you can get the hell out of here. Whereas I did not do that. I was unlucky with that. So we'll try again. And yeah, it's I'm pretty sure it's, it's random, too, for it when it pops up here. Okay, nothing that time. Excuse me. Sorry for that little uh, <laughs> burp there. I literally just finished breakfast before recording this, so wanted to make sure I was all fueled and ready to go beforehand. Still a tad hungry, but I'm good for right now. I... Oh, she actually be fine. But there we go. Takes care of that. But yeah, that's one thing I wanted to mention also. With that, with the whole level dot thing, just in general, really. I love finding new things about games I never knew about before. That I played, like, ages and ages ago. Like, like myself, like many, like many, many other people who have played this game before. We all played it growing up. But I always love finding out new things about it. And yeah, that's the normal exit. So I, would, I do want to try to find the uh, secret one as well. Because there's something also to the immediate north of this level. So let's see. Oh, I know what I need to do to find that. Um, there we go. Okay. I remember now. I actually need to go back to uh, level one here real quick. Oh, Donut Plains one and grab a cape. You'll see why momentarily. Because I remember, I remember now what I need to do. Let's go ahead and just do that without dying, please. And there we go. And the same thing here as I did before. Start select to uh, leave the level if you've already completed it. So there we go. I love that little uh, trick there. Well, not really a trick per se, but you get the idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab one more cape there just to be on the safe side. And yeah, that, yeah that's something I'll be doing a lot throughout the LP. Just to make sure I have a stock plus, of, a surplus of items there. I have like, a cape on right now, and also one in reserve. But yeah, where I want to go actually. Uh, let's go ahead and just run over here. Let them clear out and fly all the way up here and make their way over here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of these throughout the entire game, so I'm going to try my best to find as many of them as I possibly can. Go ahead and drop down here. Ooh, we have spooky one-ups. They're spooky because, you know, they're they're kind of hollow and not, like, solid. Anyway, go ahead and do that for 27. Nice. Yeah, I missed the uh, goal last, uh, last time I went through here, but oh well, no biggie. I can get by. But yeah, I wanted to unlock this because now we unlocked the top secret area. This thing right here is pretty damn great because... Oh, funnily enough, actually, real quick. There's no time in this one for the SNES version, but I'm pretty sure there actually is a timer on the GBA version. Uh, which is Game Boy Advance, by the way, but you guys already knew that. But yeah, I find that kind of odd. There's, uh, I think, 200 seconds, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I have items over here, two on each side. And then Yoshi will be here in the middle. By the way, spoilers. There we go. And if you come in here already having Yoshi, it'll just be a one-up. So there you go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make our way through uh, Donut Plains 3. Excuse me. One thing I'll be doing too, as far as the other levels go on this part, the other like secret, secret ones there, um, I want to just do the main ones first, like the required ones to get through the world, and then I'll go back to them later on. So there you go. Yeah, this level is... It can be a little tricky, but also, we can just do that. Yeah, they take a uh, blue Yoshi, or not not a, um, a blue shell with Yoshi, you'll be able to fly with it. Let's do it. This, yeah, this, this way I can pretty much cheese almost the entire damn level. And eventually he will swallow it, so you want to be a little careful there. Yeah, as you he, as he just heard right there, they're gulping the ping. 
love the pink sound. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Sorry, Yoshi. No, no! Oh, there's a platform. Oh, thank god. Oh, that was a little scary. Actually, no, that was a lot scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was extremely terrifying, as was that. Yeah, there are gonna be times where there are gonna be, there's going to be some extremely close jumps for my liking. But... Well, it's all the same for a solid 40. Hells yeah. Ah, <sighs> deep breath. Okay, we're all good. Yeah, this LP is going to have its more than fair share of crazy moments and uh, dastardly jumps and all that good shit there. Also, Crescent and Pompey are at it again. Just never mind them. Alrighty, level 4. Well, not exactly, but you got the idea. Oh, I'm going to steal that shell, thanks. But yeah, if you, if you don't take the shell from that guy, he'll just absorb into it himself, and he'll just spin back and forth like crazy and just can't stop, won't stop. Did I just make a T Swift reference? Pretty sure I did. Oh, Mar. 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 Um. Um. Okay. Not sure what just happened there, but oh well. <laughs> I lost Yoshi, unfortunately. And now we have incredible. Well. Um. That happened. Meh. Oh well. That's why I have one more cape in reserve. The only thing is, it takes a little while to get down here. There we go, much better. Do, 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 Mario. <sighs> Gross. Eh, oh well. Never said the LP would be uh, flawless and deathless and all that. That's for damn sure there. Okay, let's watch out for that guy, because, yeah, he'll throw hammers all the live long day, which can... Well, it's bad for your health, really. Um, excuse me, sorry that you all heard that. Uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead and take out these little guys here. They're not... Well, they're not Goombas. I'm not sure what these guys technically are called. The enemies in this game do have real names. I just don't know what they are. So, some of them I know, but just not all of them, really. Alright, let's see here. Um, I should actually be able to do something with that pipe there. Can I go down here? Yes, I can! Grab some coins here. I always love coins. And... Bloop, 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 bloop. I love the sound effects in this game, too. <laughs> I mean, Super Nintendo sound effects are, like, the best thing ever. They really are. We can't go wrong with that. Oh, excuse me for one second. I just gotta do something here real quick. I feel bad for pausing in the middle of the video. But, uh, just gotta do a quick thing here real quick. Sorry. Ah, that's a little better. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, Mario. Hey, Yoshi! I need you! Need you in my life like right about now. I do love Yoshi. We'll be using him a lot later on in the game, because he's pretty much required, I think, for some levels coming up here. In fact, for the uh, other exits and all that. Okay, now here, what I want to do, wait until it's a cape, and then jump it out, and it'll turn to a star! You know what those do. Oh, can I get up here? There we go. Now, if you wanted to also, this would be a good way to get some free one-ups early on if you're quick enough here. Because you can get the star there pretty much all the time if you're quick enough. But there you go. Not at least, well, two of them there, so... Not the best way to farm one-ups for right now, but it's there if you, if you do want to uh, give that a try. But there will be uh, much, much better ways of getting one-ups later on in the game that I will definitely be showing. Well, didn't really want to do that. Let's go ahead and knock you off your pedestal. Or your high horse, as it were. Not really a horse, per se, but you, you get the idea. And make your way over here for 19. Okay, not bad. I can live with that. Better than nothing, really. And yeah, I'll try my best to go for as high a score on that as possible. Just just because, for posterity's sake, I suppose. Okay, so now we have Morton's Castle, which I could go through right now. But I don't, I don't feel like it. What I want to do is make our way back over here. Take this way all the way back around. And head on through the Donut Secret House. I wonder if fairies things lie in here, I wonder. And yeah, by the way, same as before with the um, castles there and fortresses, Yoshi doesn't come with you. Hey, 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 you too easy. A bit of a loud grumble there from one of them. Oh, well, they scrap is what they do, so... Oh, well. Okay, let's wait for the uh, ring of ghosts there to get the hell out of the way. And I want to grab that bouncy pad right up there. Mr. Boo, can you not? I think one thing I will want to grab, I, I think I do need a cape for this level as well. At least, I, at least I'm pretty sure, anyway. I don't recall for sure. Nah, I'll find out in due time. That was a fire flower, which unfortunately does not work against the uh, the booze here. 
That'd be nice, but oh well. Oh yay, coins. And more head trauma. <laughs> Mario has a hard head, he'll be fine. Um, can you can you guys can you guys not you two? Well, I mean both Crassus and Pompey and also these boos that won't leave me alone. Okay, let's see here. Let's go over to this away first. There are five entrances to the Star World in Dinosaur Land. Find them all and you can travel between many different places. Yeah, that's what I'll be trying to do anyway. What the that did not touch me. You touched like a pixel of Mario's hat or something. That's that's crap. Oh well. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I should have grabbed the coins there first. I forgot about that. I uh, wasn't thinking there. Okay, now we're back here. Wherever here is, I have no idea. Oh, more coins. And more 1-ups. Yay! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a lot of those in the LP. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. I don't think I'll end up actually using them all. But, I mean, they're... Oh, there's a door. I was gonna say, where's the door? I didn't see it right away. But already, there we go. So now we can play the 1-up game again. And let's see, I would like to at least once get all of these lined up, like every single one be the same one. I've done so much for that already. But, well, oh well. There we go. Well, I need to have two more one-ups. Better than nothing. Or as H.C. Bailey always says, better than a sharp stick in the eye. That's one of his go-to catchphrases he's been using for like years and years and years. Okay, so let's see where this leads us to. Oh hey, there's already a World 7 down there. Uh, but we can't get there for quite some time. Normally, anyway. One thing I probably should do is actually, you know, maybe beat World 2 today. And I think I will, actually. Um, once I beat this level, I'll go back to the uh, castle here. I just don't feel like it for right now. No. I went to, a. Uh, let's do, um, no. Let's go ahead and jump and do that. There we go. And because I wanted to do that, because there's a star! Let's see, if I didn't get some more 1-ups from this, that'd be really appreciated. Appreciative, or great words, I don't know. I don't speak English. You guys already knew that, though. Gotta be careful in this world, too. Well, not world, this part, because as, as you can see, it's very, very icy, and it's hard to have any solid footing anywhere. So let's see what's up over here. Oh, God, more platforms. Ooh! And now we have Fat Mario. One thing that's cool, too, I can't go up and right, that's a little weird on my controller here. Um, but yeah, in the, um, GBA version of the game, apparently the, uh, the music itself actually slows down when you're Fat Mario. That's kind of cool, actually, in a way, how it does that. I didn't catch if it did it there as well. I don't think it did. Oh, well, there you go. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and wait for these guys. So I want to try to kill all of them in one fell swoop. A little close for my liking, but that'll work all the same. And bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I love this game sound effects so damn much. This game in general is, I mean, it's Super Mario World. I mean, come on now. We've pretty much, we've all played it before. Right, at one time or another. Like, just about everybody has. Okay, let's go ahead and show off where this pipe leads to. Um, just a shortcut, actually, so... That actually works out very, very well in my favor. Um, but one thing I do want to do also, I want to resupply my items here real quick. And now that we have this level opened up, this is something I'll pretty much do um, between each episode, really. If I don't already have, uh, say, two capes, for example, I'll just come back here off-camera and just get, just get two of them, just so you guys know for the future. Okay, we're at 14 minutes right now, so I should be able to beat the castle in reasonable time here. Didn't sit with my usual about uh, 15 to 17 minutes or so, as far as episode length goes. For a game like this, I really wouldn't want to do anything longer than, say, 20 minutes-ish. Because, I mean, it's a pretty short game overall. I mean, you can beat it with just, like, in, like, no time flat, really. Also, my neck was itchy. Sorry. But, yeah, there's walkthroughs on the, for the game that you can beat it in just, like, 11 levels or whatever. Just, uh, skip through, like, a whole crap ton of the game and just go right to the Star World and all that. Which I will not be doing. I do want to try to beat, well, every level, if at all possible. If I don't... I don't. I, I'm not too worried about that at all. Yeah, this won't be like a full 100% LP of the game like I had mentioned in episode 1, I'm pretty sure. So, just a fun, casual LP of the game. You guys know how I do. Let's see, gotta wait for these platforms to move out of the way. Grab some more items and coins and more head trauma. 
And let's see, make your way. Uh, da, ba, da. Can I make that jump over here? Yes, I can. Nice. Yeah, you'll see me make some actually rather solid jumps. Like, just quick boom, 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 no problem. Other times, <laughs> not so much. But uh, we should be fine. Make your way up here without getting squished. Oh, that was close. Let's go and flat these guys out of the way. Yeah, if you just jump on them, they'll come back after a, a, like a minute or two, or a few seconds or whatever. So just hit them with your cape, you'll be you'll be fine. Let's go and do that and do that. Um, let's go ahead and just be careful here, be uh, prudent and all that, and make that jump and make this jump. Grab the cape and spin around. And here we have boss time. And it's, uh, this was Morton, right? Three hits, he's dead symbols at. Boom, boom, one more. Easy peasy. I am so good at this game. Actually, no, I, I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm, like, average. Yeah, there's being good at a game and just playing a game a whole bunch and just kind of naturally knowing what you're doing. They're two different things, really. I am the latter. But you know what? It's all well and good. Really? Um, he just... Stomped a castle into oblivion. Mario is some sort of god that he can do that. Alright, Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle Number Two is now just a memory. The next area is the underground Vanilla Dome. Red traps await Mario in this new world. What will become a Princess Toadstool? We'll find out. Well, kind of next time on Let's Play Super Mario World. This has been Mr. Movie Seven signing off, guys. Have a great day and thanks for watching.